Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I'm actually standing outside of Fox News. I just got done appearing on Fox Business and realized that uh, the schedule the rest of the day was probably not going to let me uh, video the normal Dividend Cafe, so I wanted to get that done really quickly. Apologize for any volume related issues. It's been a really interesting week in the markets. A lot of flat days, but earnings season going very much the way we would have expected. Um, the oil prices have continued to move higher, and there's been total political disasters, and yet the markets have completely shrugged it off. Um, if you read DividendCafe.com this week, you'll see we really do believe tax reform is a moment of reckoning for markets. Now, we don't say that pessimistically because, frankly, we believe that the tax reform is going to get done. And that's what I was just talking about on Fox a moment ago. But to the extent that the health care uh, repeal replace is dead at the Senate level and has not totally disrupted markets, that's kind of a warning signal, I think. Um, but I do not believe markets will be so gracious if indeed they were to fail with tax reform. All indications that they have this teed up much better. Secretary Mnuchin has led the charge, and I think that their I's are going to be better dotted, T's better crossed. So all that to say, um, very interesting week in the markets. I'm going to have to leave it there um, for this week's Dividend Cafe, but please listen to the podcast. It's a lengthy contribution this week. And then, of course, our written Dividend Cafe. I think this week is one of the better ones. There's a lot of material in the active versus passive debate, a lot on emerging markets. And so if you get a chance to go to DividendCafe.com, uh, check that out. Reach out to us anytime. I'm going to run. Thanks.